Hey Jonathan, are you getting sick and tired of playing Dying Light 2? Eh, uh, not really, why is that? Well, it looks like Techland have added in the alteration again. Ooh, which one? They add in the fully loaded one so you get unlimited ammo on your pistol. Hang on, did they already do that before? Yes, they did. Okay, let's still do it. But let's check out how Jonathan's going with this event, shall we? <laughs> Oh, fuck your yeah. hair. I love this shit. Oh, my God, man. Man, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, bigger pistol. Let's do it. Oh, whoever had Techland decided to put this on the way, can I thank you so much? Yeah. What? Oh, oh God damn. It looks like he's having a good time playing that. So, anyway, let's get into the video. People playing Dying Light 2 now? <laughs> Never. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. So, Dying Light put down... Well, you definitely know what we'll be doing for today's video. Yeah, it's not like I've already done this how many goddamn times, but anyway, uh, let's do it. Ah, there we go. Ah, it's good to be back. What's up, guys? My name's Jonathan, and welcome to some Dying Light 2 Stay Human. I wanted to say thank you for the love and support on my last video on Dying Light 2, which was the community maps. If you guys want to check that video first, then yeah, it'll be a bit of that. But honestly, everybody, thank you all so much for the love and support on the Dying Light 2 videos. I really appreciate it. But besides that, everybody, Make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 2,500 subscribers. I believe we're like 300 something off. So honestly, everybody, thank you all so much. Anyways, let's continue off with the campaign with the... Yes, with event. Well, goddamn, we're back on this again. Okay, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do with the... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, first off, let me just drop off the honey. Then we can work on Peacekeeper Turncoat. Okay, let's do that one. And all of a sudden, Jonathan wanted to talk about Dying Light the Beast. So if you want to see more gameplay, it will be in the timestamps down below. But man, lately, I've been looking at more of the Dying Light the Beast information. And the more I look at it, I'm getting more and more excited for the game. It's also insane as well to me of how much love and support that Techland is getting because of Dying Light the Beast. I say it all the time in my all my freaking videos I've already done on Dying Light 2. Like, we already know what happened with bloody Techland on Dying Light 2. There's no point of talking about with freaking Dying Light 2's history and everything. But it does suck as well because of the Dying Light 2 not getting a proper storyline anymore. But at the end of the day, I really do hope that Dying Light the Beast is going to live up to expectations and uh, really make people go, wow. Like, the more in-depth now because they're adding a new weapons into the game, which I cannot wait to see what they're going to be adding in into Dying Light the Beast, not Dying Light 2, what am I talking about? And the more I talk about with Dying Light the Beast, the more excited that I actually do get on the game. Even though we might not even get it for another, like, 10, 15 months, whatever the case may be. But it's very rare for me to get excited on different games because usually a lot of games now are so disappointing. And the one thing that really pisses me off with a lot of games now is that how you have to buy the game now, then they will fix the game later. Like, no wonder why people get pissed off with a lot of companies like freaking Ubisoft, for example. I really do hope when Dying Light the Beast does come out, it's gonna be pretty good, not have any drama problems with Dying Light 2. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna say to all of you as well, are you excited for Dying Light the Beast? Let me know down in the comments down below. And also, what do you want to see in Dying Light the Beast when they will announce more stuff? Because, mate, if they announce more of the weapons, more different zombie variants, and more in-depth of Crane, yeah, take my freaking money. I, I would give all my money to Techland just for them to release something absolutely like a freaking masterpiece. <gasps> Reload the gun! Hang on, play Aquabat Super Show. Hang on, what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> At least we got one of the other alterations that I don't mind. I don't know how many times I've already done this alterization, but you know what? I can't complain about it. Oh, what the fuck? It's also something to do now with Dying Light 2 because, I mean, I've already done the campaign so many goddamn times, and there's not really a lot to do on the game anymore. But I still like playing the game, if that makes any sense at all in 2024. At the same time, a lot of you do like the Dying Light 2 content, which I'm happy to do, but I like to do it like a different variety of different games, which is what you do see on my channel. But maybe when it gets closer to the release of Dying Light the Beast, I might do more videos with Dying Light 1 and 2, maybe. So, I mean, it would be cool to talk about war with Dying Light 2, but because of what's in the game, it's a little bit of a, yeah, not really a lot to do when you've been playing this game for about two years now. It might be different for a lot of people that have not played this game before. But hey, if you are watching this and you've never played Dying Light 2 before, I would strongly recommend to actually play this game. But personally, for me, you are playing Dying Light 2 at the most perfect time. Like, they completely revolt the entire game to make the game much more better than what it is. Even going back to the game now, it visually looks absolutely amazing. Beauty. Oh my god, look at them. Man, guys, you can't kill me. I'm the freaking handyman. What the fuck did I just say handyman? What the hell's a handyman? 
I also did see a lot of different comments on all my other videos with Dying Light 2 on how a lot of people have been asking, are you going to be doing private lobbies with your subscribers, etc, yada yada. The issue is that I have with that, because of where I live, because if you don't know already, I live in Australia, and most of my viewers are from America, Canada, and also bloody England. So the issue is, is when you have server connections like that, I'm not able to play with anybody out of my server, which is the Oceania server, which I can only play with people from Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, and Japan or something, I think. I'm not too sure. So it does suck, I know. And I also play on the Xbox when most people play on PlayStation because I know like 99% of the fucking community play on PlayStation. So that's my goddamn luck, ain't it? But once again, everybody, I am sorry that I haven't done anything like that to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed and supported me over the two years, I think I've done. No, one and a half years, sorry. I will definitely will be doing something maybe the end of the year. Maybe it might be a giveaway. I'm not too sure. I'll think about it down the track. I'm not too sure at the moment. Oh, sir! Oh, you bitches, where are you? I'm going to find whoever has done this to me. Ow! <laughs> Wait, where's the trainer? Hang on, what? Up here? Oh! Oh! Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> Die! Oh, fucking hell, the gore is so beautiful. Every time I go back to this game, I love it. Oh my god, look at that boomer. Ah, uh, Jonathan, that's not a boomer. What the fuck happened? <laughs> Maybe alone. I did reload again. Fuck off. Man, if all of us had pistols, we wouldn't be in this fucking shit in the first place. Hang on, that makes no sense. I mean, look at what happened to Dying Light 1. Everyone had weapons and still fucking died. Oh, you're dead. I'm the lost PK Scott. Where's the put the put the up? That fucking dead. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on that fucking aim. <laughs> have they updated the weapons or something? Why does this feel so much more better? It could be because of the vent. You know what, Jonathan? I have no idea what the fuck you're trying to say, but good luck. <laughs> like fucking John Wick. And the freaking lost PK squad. Like I, I did, did it with the fuck. I am trying to find a dead body. King of the castle. King of the castle. Well, that definitely worked, didn't it? Fuck me, man. All these fucking zombies. Fuck sack. <laughs> People always complain, but you're alive. But that's what counts. That face though. Hang on, what? You're welcome. <laughs> At least we're alive, you said. Well, you're fucking dead. Hey, where the fuck do I go? Look at that, you, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, stay dead. Oh my god, what am I actually doing? Where the fuck is your PK tag? Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Come here. See ya. You're definitely gonna wake up in the morning, aren't ya? Oh, fucking beauty. I don't know, I wish this fucking had an extend mags or something. Hey, Techler, is there any chance that you could do uh, weapon customization on this game? No? Okay. It would be cool to have, like, a suppressor or a red dot sight. Oh, man, you're gonna do something on Dying Light 2. Why not do that? That'd be really cool. Do different missions to unlock different attachments. Hey, idea. Would it make any sense? Absolutely not. Does it make any freaking sense nowadays with Techland? No. But does anything make any sense with freaking Dying Light? No. Nothing does anymore. <laughs> fucking love the pistols, man. Oh, that was fucking easy. Reminds me of that one scene from Blade Indiana Jones. <laughs> That's what he was like, hey! Over dramatic scenes be like, hey, you definitely wonder about doing like two videos of me just fucking taking the piss out of the fucking game while talking about whatever comes to my fucking brain. <laughs> you! Beautiful. <laughs> Fucking love it. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love it, man. See all these zombies? They're all gonna fucking die. Ready? Oh, that was great, wasn't it? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god, look at this freaking world, man. Don't realize how good this actually is. I do have to give credit to the art team most of the time, man, because... Look at it! Look at that fucking sunset over there. This is on the Xbox Series X. Can't imagine why it looks like on PC, but... You, you know, PC is just good in general. Hey, Jonathan, why don't you play on the PC? I don't know why I don't play on PC, but I just prefer playing on console. It's like how people prefer playing freaking a Wii console over a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Oh! Hang on, I thought I already did this one. Oh, hang on, I did a new game, never mind. God damn, I already did this! I gotta do it again! That bastard right there is gonna betray you, man. I'm not doing the bubba. I don't want the bubba. <laughs> That's gonna be stuck in my head now. Anybody, what are you gonna do? The bubba. It's actually the time for me to absolutely shit my pants because it's gonna be night time. Oh, hang on, good timing. I can do this now. I got a fucking pistol. Usually when it comes to this, I just speed run everything. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> Welcome to thinking 28 days later. <laughs> oh, hang on. There's a movie coming out for that 28 years later. Oh, man. I cannot wait for that. If you have not watched that movie before, or well, the franchise, not the freaking movie, Jonathan Dunmar, I strongly recommend to watch 28 days later and 28 weeks later. I can definitely tell that Techland took a lot of the ideas from those kind of movies because look what we have now. I always wonder why we never had a 28 days later video game or do we? Oh, it would be cool for them to add something like that into this game. Just to bring like the characters or an event or something. I gotta do something in this game. Come on. Bring the pistol fight. Oh, fuck me. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to do this anymore. Go. Okay, like good old fashioned, we do all this bing bada boom. And it's going to tell us we don't have any power. I've done it so many goddamn times. I already know what I'm doing. You're trying to tell me that nobody could be bothered to do this when I was a freaking pilgrim out of the side. I'm still a pilgrim, but you know what? Good enough for me. Okay, I need to stop fooling around and go and find Michael with my pistol. Oh, fucking hell. This is a bloody... Oh, my God. What am I doing? Is that night time? Ow! And everybody brings a freaking machete in that to a freaking fight. I bring a pistol. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what is down here? Oh! Come on, die, you piece of shit. Oh, die, 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 die. Hi, 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 hi. Oh my god, it's actually a broken, broken mechanic. Broken mechanics. Broken mechanics. <laughs> that actually worked. Oh shit, tits McGee. <gasps> oh. Volatile, I hate you so much. Can you just pick that up? <laughs> yeah, run off, yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, yeah, see ya. Oh, my God. Flying zombie, flying zombie. No. Holy oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the freaking... Oh, for crying out loud. No, I can't do it. No. That'll be for another time. I'm not doing that again. Well, I do have to say to all of you is that if you're looking into going back to Dying Light 2 over the weekend, you're going to definitely try out this alteration because it's actually one of the good ones. And, mate, how can you say no to get absolutely going psycho with a freaking pistol? Like, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I love this shit. Hell, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, besides that, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. And I wanted to say thank you all for the love and support once again. But besides that, everybody, if you want to see more content of Dying Light 1 and 2, it's on my channel right now. And hey, if you want to see more content, let me know down in the comments down below because I'll be happy to go back with Dying Light 1 and 2. But anyways, everybody, take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day and night, and I'll see you guys on my next video. <laughs>